exit, you'll see lots of leather, wild hairdos, and interesting toys. And no doubt you'll see someone getting tied up. So are you enjoying this? Yes, I am. Actually, it's very relaxing. Relaxing? That's a pretty good notch you got there. You want to try it? Exit has been around for years, and some consider it the premier club for punk rockers, and they also play other kinds of alternative dance music. The manager of the club's bondage room says this is actually a good place for people looking to experiment. If people don't know anything about bondage and they're kind of nervous and scared, it's a good place to go because we'll talk them through it, you know, do light and fuzzy, and then they get addicted, and then they're here every week. It's all, it's all whatever you want, you know. We're here to, like, kind of serve you in our own sadistic way. And that's what keeps people coming back for more. Some people skydive, some people go bungee jumping. Up here, it's a, you, you get high off it. Whether or not you come here to partake in the festivities or dance to the beat, you'll find the people here friendly and knowledgeable. We're not necessarily crazy, we're just like-minded people. And everybody needs a safe environment to do that, and that's what we try and provide for them. So, now you know where to go. But now you need something to wear. And for that, we're going to introduce you to a guy who has all the right stuff. Paul Christensen first started designing leather clothes for musicians. He's branched out since then, and guess who buys his leather now? I would call them kind of Mill America happy, happily married couples. That's right. Regular folks shop at Paul C. Leather on West North Avenue. They're buying corsets, whips, and other leather accessories. But there are also those who like to take the look to a whole other level. We make a, we make a lot of stuff for um, dominatrixes, strippers. We have a few women wrestlers that we're making stuff for. Paul designs all his leather pieces and they're sewed right in the store. It's just becoming more and more socially acceptable. So more and more people are coming out and now it's not so much that you're a freak, it's, you know, you're fashionable. Once you have your outfit down pat, you may be in the mood for a little fun. If so, you can also get accessories and toys at Paul C. Leather and the adjoining Black Market Chicago store. Like, how about a flogger? Or what about a choker? Paul calls it Adult Disneyland. It's more about fun and self-expression and uh, feeling confident. And if you want to show your new confident self-expression off, you can go to one of the fashion shows Paul holds at area clubs. Many of the events that we do are if you're not dressed in fashion you don't even make it in the front door and speaking of leather did you know chicago has an actual leather museum it's called the leather archives and museum here you can learn about the history of the leather community and those who live that lifestyle the display includes leather artwork advertisements t-shirts and more we've got um, anything that has to do with with fetish or erotic art or alternative sexuality, you can find it here. The Leather Archives and Museum is located at 6418 North Greenview. It's been under construction, but will reopen to the public on May 30th. For more information, you can call 773-761-9200 or visit their website, leatherarchives.org.